Hello everyone, welcome to another video by Shadow Reviews, and today we're going to be building, or not building, but reviewing another one of my Hero Factory mock transformers, and today we're going to be doing another version of Deadshot. Yes, Deadshot gets three different versions over the course of like a couple of days in YouTube time, a couple of uh, maybe weeks, probably still days for me in my time, but uh, anyway. So here he is. He is in his ship mode once again because he's a ship and I don't really want to change that. I did change that with the beast if you saw that, but uh, that was about it. Besides, he could still fly as a beast. So, uh, you know, here is his, as his ship mode. And so, you know, this is one of the ship modes that I really, really like. It just looks so cool. It looks sleek. It looks fast. It just looks kind of deadly, you know, maybe a little bit dagger-like. I just really like it. And I like the colors on it, just like how it looks in general. I mean, it just looks really cool and has some really cool ideas behind it. Such as using, well, I guess these aren't, this isn't that cool or unique, but uh, I mean, I do have these uh, large spikes, uses the nose, have uh, a simulated cockpit here if you want a cockpit on your guys. A little bit of blue here, which does kind of stand out, it's a little bit out of place, but I mean, Deadshot had blue on him as he, in his original form, as kind of, you know, just something behind his head, something that you could see in ship mode now granted his the original dead shot his blue was at the very back and this one's kind of in the center but uh you know i got that little bit of blue in there regardless you know some blue here too if you want to count that um one thing that i really do like about this guy is how the feet connect if you can see that but they connect on these little connector pegs that are attached to the wings and i think that that's really cool it's just something really unique and then the trans orange armor on his um thighs i think yeah, the thighs, um, since his feet are bent like this and the thighs are facing backward, it kind of looks like boosters. There's a kind of a gap here. I mean, from the top, it just kind of looks like kind of stylistic, you know, but from here, it's not that, you know, pretty. Also, from here, there's a large gap where you can see all that. But, I mean, you could just, like, put in some beams and that wouldn't really change anything, but probably only fit, like, one beam in there or else it would get in the way of the wing articulation. Um, but besides that, I mean, that's pretty much all I have to say. Colors blend well. I do like it. You know, I hope you guys like it because, I mean, this is, I think, definitely one of my better airplanes. Um, from the bottom, you know, I guess it's not too bad. You have some plating here, a little bit of blue in the center. You know, this is kind of exposed and hollow just because of how the spike pieces are molded. You can see this, you know, you can see the feet. But, uh, yeah. And uh, the feet... They're not just there, they're kind of air intakes. I mean, since they're down here, since, since they're open and hollow, might as well use them for something, you know, so the feet are air intakes. You can see that the, the back of the ship is definitely of a, you know, thicker up and down than the front, so when you stand it, it's going to lean forward. If you put some landing gear on this guy somehow, some way, then uh, that wouldn't be too much of a problem, but uh, for now, it's just how it is. Um, I think I did try using, no. I was about to try using this as kind of a landing gear, but it's too short. Um, but yeah, that's about all I have to say about the vehicle mode. Really nice, you know, kind of cool, or just really cool, if you want to say that. I do very much like it. You know, I like the concepts behind it. I like how it looks overall. I just really like it. So enough of me, you know, oh, by the way, I should mention, sorry about that camera hit. Um, there's not really any way to store the weapon in vehicle mode. You could... Um, maybe find a place for it, like you could put an axle there, the rest of it there, but it's going to look really, really bad and just out of place and stuff. So I just leave the weapon off because the ship looks really cool without it. And, uh, you know, with Deathshot's description from the previous video, you know, he's a sharpshooter. He hits what he aims at and he still does that here. There's not really any, like, apparent guns, but, uh, you know, you could pretend that there's guns somewhere on here. I don't, I haven't really taken the time to find them, but... I mean, yeah, there's my look, there's your look at the ship, because I've already seen this, because I built it, you know. But uh, let's get into transformation, which is, you know, pretty simple, I guess. So what you're going to do first is you're going to come back here, and you're going to detach the feet from their pegs, and they just peg onto there on the wings, or the wing connectors, I guess. You're just going to do that, and you're going to bend this forward to form his leg. Spin the foot around, just like that. Do that on both sides. And uh, do note that you kind of have to move this out because of how it's molded. There's this little section here that doesn't allow you to bend it like this unless you do some forcing. Then it'll go out on this like kind of angled part of the, you know, 
shell, I guess. Just gonna, you know, kind of bend it out and then move it like that. And you have to do that when you're bending the knees as well in robot mode. So now you can kind of stand them up. Let's uh, angle up. So these wings you can kind of just leave here for now. They're not really gonna go anywhere different. So for the back of them, what you'll probably want to do, or what you should do, is uh, split these hands right here, like that. Just leave the leg, the red, not wag. That's a weird word. Um, peg on one of them. Just straighten out the arms, bring them down, like so. You know the drill. Detach things, straighten them out. You know, detach more stuff, reattach stuff to other things. That sort of thing. Transformers. Now uh, this part is a little bit more disappointing, but uh, before we get to that, let's uh, just fold these up to form kind of a, you know, a gapless kind of pack thing, I guess, or you know, whatever. So the next part is the part that I was talking about disappointing. You have to bend this down over his back, but with the helmet on, the head does not go through. So I know it's parts forming. I know very, very many people do not like parts forming. But it's got to be done. It's 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 just no way around it. You have to take the helmet off in order to get the head to fold through. I'm I'm sorry. I mean, I'm not a big fan of it either. But it's what has to be done, and what has to be done, you know, what ha is what has to be done. Fortunately, it's parts forming on transformer. But anyway, you kind of have to take the helmet off. It is the literal only way that the head will fit through. So with the helmet off, you can now pull this down and slide the head through. I mean, parts forming is definitely not what I would consider good on a transformer. But, uh, I mean, in this case, it's kind of necessary, I guess. So, uh, you know, just re reattach the helmet once you've done that. Then you can just press this down into his back. Kind of move the wings out the way so that the connectors don't interfere. Then uh, you can take this little tail and just fold it forward on his bottom. Like so. And... Getting up straight now, kind of angling up the wings. Here we have Deadshot 2 or 3.0, whichever way you look at him, in his robot mode. Now, as you can see, if I just move him back a little bit, he does have a pretty, I mean, at least from the front, he has a pretty straightforward and simple design, you know. Attach the arms right there, attach the legs here, put on a chest plate in the head, and then add some wings on the back. I mean, his construction, if you saw the let's build, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward, not too much complexity going on, I guess. But, uh, I mean, he definitely is a figure that I do like. While his robot mode may not be as cool as his ship mode, maybe in my opinion or yours, but, I mean, regardless, I do very much still like his robot mode as well. He carries a lot of the same elements from, you know, his first version of Deadshot. One difference being is that he does have a lot more darker colors, like... On the original, he had some white, some uh, gunmetal, some black, and, you know, some blue. But uh, here, it's mostly just some trans orange, some black, some gunmetal, and a little bit of blue. So his color um, scheme has changed quite a bit since his original version, but uh, I definitely do like him. I, I mean, black is definitely one of my favorite colors, so if you give me like a figure with like all black armor I will just like just like it because I mean black armor is cool and uh, yeah you know he he's pretty cool I do very much like both his modes even, even this one even though it's so simple and maybe even kind of a downgrade from his first version but uh, I mean nonetheless I think despite its simplicity it's still pretty cool it's at least acceptable, you know, it's it's passable. Um, I mean, yeah, that's about all I say. I have to say on, it, on its looks. The color scheme is still pretty consistent. Um, not a whole lot of blue, but, you know, still enough blue to be reminiscent of the very first version. It does introduce some trans orange into its color scheme in instead of trans neon green, but uh, there's some neon green in the head, so there's still a little bit of that. He does use the same head as the original. That's just because I really didn't want to switch out the head. Because this one makes him look a lot more robotic, and I'll talk about that more when I explain his uh, backstory. So uh, let's jump into articulation. So moving the wings back, his arms can go forward, you know, up until there because of the wing. They can go back about that far. But since the wings are kind of, you know, posable and movable, you can get him back a little bit farther. 
not really much because uh you know there's this connector that's kind of limiting the wing movement because it, it'll this connector excuse me will run into stuff and so that'll just you know kind of limit things in terms of the arms so you can only go back so far but you can go up you know you can rotate you got your elbow bend about 90 degrees and all the hand articulation you can want so i'm tired of showing that so i'm not going to so uh, they can go forward, they can go back, not as far as they usually could be, or could do. Um, actually, let me see, can they? Well, I guess not as far, but, you know, still pretty far, far enough to be good. Um, they can go forward, I haven't showed that. They can go out, they can rotate, they can go in a little bit. They can also bend, if you just move the chest plate out to the side, like I said, they could bend more than 90 degrees, which is good. Um, foot cannot you know do that but it can uh you know it can go forward it can go back and it can go in so let's get to the head so we can wrap this up head has all the articulation it could want unlike on his first version he has no limitation you, know, you can go left you can go right you can go down you can go up you know you can tilt a little bit so you know since there's a lot less on his back and i guess that is one benefit to him being having more of a standard build he gets a lot more articulation just a lot more of a cleaner look from the simpler build i mean he has stuff on his back and it's kind of thick but i mean all together his look is just a lot more cleaner a lot more streamlined a lot more refined i guess and just not a lot of extra junk just getting in the way of his articulation i mean all that there is the wings and the arms getting into the way of each other other than that, he's pretty clean, you know, like I said, despite his simplicity, I do still like this guy. Um, I do think he could use with a little more personality, though, but I'll explain that when we get to the backstory. And one thing I should show, though, is that originally, once, um, and, you know, I think when I first built this guy, what I would do is I put these connectors into the axle coal, axle hole, not coal, is not Ninjago. Um, into the axle hole on this piece. So I do something like, uh, let's see if I can get it like this. Come on. It's possible. I know that. Let me turn them upside down. And uh, yeah, you know, I just put it in there and that would just kind of lock the wings in place. I'll do it on the other side. Hopefully you can see a little bit better this time. Let's just move his arm. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna grab this and uh, position this, then push it in like that. And yeah, so that's something that I would do. It does angle the wings down, and it also um, locks them into place so you can't move them to get more arm articulation. But uh, I mean, if you want to do that, then you could. But I prefer to leave them out, mostly because it's kind of. It stresses the uh, connections to be like that because it's a bit of a tight fit, you know, close call kind of thing. Besides, I like having his wings angled up. I just, I think it just looks a lot cooler on this guy. But uh, yeah, you know, there's a dead shot. Oh, his weapon before I forget. Let me angle it down a little bit so you can see a little bit more of him. His weapon, this time around, he doesn't have a gun. What he has instead is this kind of large scythe weapon with the water bionicle blade and this curved bionicle blade. It does also have a gun on top so he can still shoot and he does still have the laser in his eye that he can shoot at you but uh, I mean I did really want to still give him like a gun weapon because I mean he's dead shot he's all about guns. Uh, you may not know this and I'm going to introduce this to you right now but uh, he's actually really formidable with um, you know like melee weapons and bladed weapons and such so he's not just a gun expert he's probably wield like a whole lot of different weapons like swords and you know size as you can see and he'll be like really good with them and his dead accurate aim actually improves that skill because I mean he'll know how to make those small adjustments to hit exactly what he wants to get the result he wants so uh, here he is with his side, you know, it looks pretty cool. He can shoot with it, kind of like a staff, you know, just set it down, just like shoot at you. And he'll hit you because he's dead shot and he doesn't miss what he's aiming at. But uh, yeah, you know, it's maybe a little out of place with the water blade, but I put that on there for whatever reason I did. And I think it still looks cool, you know, has a long enough handle. Since this does have a red peg over here, you could um, dual wield it with the hands, but I'm not going to do that right now. 
says this video, you know, you don't want long videos all the time. But uh, for the backstory, so once he escaped from Hero Factory, what actually happened was he was reverted back to, uh, um, you know, normal. I don't, I'm not quite sure what I did at the end of the story for his last Beast review, but uh, for now, I guess we'll just say that he escaped, and um, either by, you know, Surge injecting him with a, you know, kind of antidote, I guess, or from something the Hero Factory did, um, he reverted back to normal. But when he reverted back to normal, he was different. He wasn't the same, and he came out looking like this. So not only, um, you know, he was a lot less bulky, as you can see, thinner, more streamlined, you know, all that that I talked about with his looks. But anyway, not only was he like that, but he was also, like, stronger, you know, he was, like, better coordinated, and he could heal himself just like the Beast could, because, um, I haven't mentioned this, the Beast do have a rapid healing factor, um, that they all have in their bodies that's just natural and now this guy has it since he was once a beast so he has a lot of his beast traits um so that's good for him and he's also you know more of a normal guy so you know he has his size now he's different so uh let me just you know wrap this up kind of in a in a you know kind of summarization he's a beast got turned back into normal or i guess the new normal i guess this made him him it made the normality became this and uh you know he had enhanced speed strength smarts i guess precision coordination also one thing that i would like to mention is that after being reverted back to normal he's now lost a you know kind of a considerable sum of his personality so he's like a lot more robotic and a lot more cold because, um, I may not have mentioned this originally, but he, you know, he was kind of a cool guy, you know, he's like, you know, kind of like that chill dude, I guess you could say, when he was, like, not on a job or not really focused, but, uh, now that he's reverted back to Beast, he's lost a lot of that personality that he once had, he's a lot more cold and a lot more robotic in who he is and, you know, how he operates. So, yeah, there's your look at the final version of Deadshot so far. If I do a fourth version, then uh, I don't even know what I'm thinking, because uh, this guy has three versions already. Does my other mocks have any alternate versions but this guy? But uh, let's get him a cool pose for the end of the video, and then we'll end it. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Please do a like if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe for more mock content, and I will see you guys later.